the Saturday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start to this beautiful weekend. We've all been in this situation where we've tried to give advice to folks and they were, it wouldn't hearken or being hard hearted or what my mom used to call me sometimes hard headed, right? Don't be hard headed, Michelle. Well, and there's nothing new under the sun. And we sometimes blame ourselves if someone we love get in a situation and we're like, oh, if only I did this. I can recall when my son was coming up, I was like, oh, if only I would have supervised him at school when he was in fifth grade, he wouldn't have done the stupidity. If only I would have picked him up early and no you can't do it and I was hearing of some parents recently who said oh if only I would have locked the door or bolted it shot shut or my daughter wouldn't have gone to the party and got shot so nothing is new under the sun and we know that the word of God is powerful right sharper than any two-edged sword and it's pertinent it's applicable to present day. Now, this story in 2 Samuel 17 is a continuation of some bad counsel that should not have been followed. We remember Ahithophel was Absalom's counselor, and he was like, yeah, you know, go ahead and sleep with David's concubine so, so the rest of Israel will disrespect and dishonor the king and just have an open yeah, orgy pretty much uh, for everybody to see. Bad counsel. And in Second Samuel 17, it opens with some more ill advice of Ahithophel. He was telling Absalom, yeah, I will arise and pursue after David this night. Let me choose 12,000 men. And while they're like asleep and they're weary and weak, I will kill David and I will bring back all the people unto thee. And this saying pleased Absalom. He was like, yeah, this is great. Now remember, this is David's son. But then Absalom asked another counselor who was actually in David's camp. He was his friend. He was kind of a spy. And he asked Hushai. He was like, well, what do you think about this? And Hushai was so slick in verse 7. He was like, yeah, the counsel of Ahithophel is uh, good but is not good at this time, right? Because he gave their reasons. Thy, thy father is a man of war, Absalom. You know, he has a heart that is brave and valiant, and his people do too. In fact, they have a conviction that is valiant. In verse 10, the heart of a lion shall utterly melt. And... For all Israel knoweth that thy father is a mighty man. He goes on and he gives the reason. So pretty much the counsel of Hushai was preferred over Ahithophel. Now, what happens when you know, some of us do this? See, we can't take rejection like, oh, they didn't take my advice. Oh, it must be an assault to me. Well, what did Ahith Ahithophel do? That's a crazy name. It says in verse 23, when Ahithophel found out that his counsel was not followed, he got everything in order, went back home, you know, said, you know, wife, do this, do that. And he hung himself and he was buried because he couldn't take that. Now, what happens when we have good advice and the people don't want to hear it? Well, we are also in Psalms 14, since today is September 14th, and 44, and 74, and 104, and 134. When people don't take our advice, our children, what have you, Psalms 104, 33, our meditation, our thoughts, our heart shall be sweet, and we will be glad in the Lord. We're going to continue to bless the Lord, even when we have told them. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary. Bless the Lord, even at night. That's Psalms 134. 
know that God is still able, but we're going to keep our hope and trust in the Lord, no matter what anyone else do, if they heed our good advice or not. So be at peace today, the beginning of this weekend, with your loved ones, knowing that God is in control and you continue to bless the Lord at all times. And let your praise be in him and in your heart. Have a good day.